Well, welcome back, everybody, to Uniquely Us. I am Frank, and this is another episode of Bible Snapshot. And what I'm actually doing on this one is we're talking about something that's taking place. Uh, this Christian artist that has a very large reach, uh, Lauren Daigle. You may have heard of her, you may have listened to a few of her songs. However, there are some problematic things about her in the way she continues to skirt issues such as homosexuality and, of course, abortion, um, as she doesn't want to get political. There's nothing about being bold about the gospel that is political. Speaking God's word is something that he has asked us to do. He's called us to holiness. He has called us uh, to adhere to his truths and not those of this world. And Lauren Daigle doesn't seem to understand this, or she refuses to understand this. She uh, would rather gain the admiration of the world around us versus actually spreading the gospel, actually speaking the truth that that God wants us to speak. He's preparing hearts and minds every single day to receive that gospel. And when people like Warren Daigle refuse to even uh, pronounce the gospel as a Christian artist, it does a lot of damage. So before we dive into today's Bible snapshot, I just want to say thank you for joining me. Hopefully you're enjoying these uh, Bible snapshots. And of course, uh, love to encourage you to continue to read your Bible, continue to stay in the word and increase your prayer life. I want to see you to be able to increase your spiritual wellness, your spiritual wellness, which needs to be fed daily. Uh, I want that relationship between you and God to, to uh, grow um, and your obedience to being in his word, being obedient to God and in following his commands. So let's go ahead and take a look at the story that I found uh, speaking about Lauren Daigle. And right here, of course, uh, seeing CM star Lauren Daigle gets asked her opinion on her state's abortion ban. She says, I have no idea. She's from Louisiana, Louisiana, past day. <laughs> Thank goodness, right? Thank God that she was a, uh, that Louisiana passed such a um, a bill to protect life. And of course, Lauren Daigle pretends that she doesn't know anything about it because she doesn't want to offend anybody, right? So here we have someone unwilling to stand for Christ, right? Louisiana-based artist Lauren Daigle keeps making the discernment news for the same reason. In 2018, the prominent Christian artist was asked by noted lesbian Ellen DeGeronis, her view on homosexuality. And she answered, you know, I can't honestly answer on that. I have too many people that I love that are homosexuals. I don't know. That's a terrible answer. Instead of actually sharing the truth with her friends or people that she claims to love, she would share the gospel with them. Not sharing the gospel with those people is hate. That is the true hatefulness of what is not being done by sharing the gospel with them. Um, and she refuses to do that. She refuses to address uh, that. And we come down here, of course. Uh, in May 10th, just uh, last week, interview with uh, The Guardian, when asked what she thinks of her state's ban on abortion, Lauren claims ignorance and says she doesn't even know what the laws are. While Daigle is well practiced in keeping her political opinions to herself. She admits that her perspective has shifted since tr the Trump presidency. I got wrapped up in the way the politics were being projected and in, in the in, uh, in the she says. Now we're on this side, I'm looking back at myself. I'm like, wow, yes, I do believe certain things, but but did I but it did it actually get the best of my fate? At the end of the day, the Bible calls us to unity. Well, the Bible calls us to uh, spread the gospel. It calls us to holiness, uh, which Lauren Daigle has not openly performed in these interviews. She finds it shocking that Trump is still in the headlines. It's wild that there's this gravitational pull to consist consistently talk about him in a way. She's the one that brought him up, by the way, in a way that suggests a certain nativity. The 45th president's legacy remains encoded in the country's current legislative agenda. What about the near total ban on abortion that went to effect in Louisiana last year with no exceptions even for rape or incest? I have no idea, she says. I'm terrible, says Daigle. I know that we have a Democrat governor, but I don't know where our abortion laws are in Louisiana. And that's a lie. She knows. She doesn't want to talk about it because obviously it would um, deem offensive to some people that she doesn't want not listening to her. She wants to appeal to the word. We look in Colossians chapter three, starting in verse one, it says, 
If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above, not on the things of, on the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetous, which is idolatry, because these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. And Laura Daigle, once again, in these interviews, proving that she would rather be a son of disobedience or a daughter of disobedience, if you will, uh, toward the father by not producing holiness. This is a this is a symptom that we've seen in the in the Christian music industry. And it's really sad to see uh, because many times, you know, you have these artists that actually make really good sound um, sound music. But then their lives don't match up to it. And that leads to a broader question. Are you able to listen to this music and uh, to be able to worship God, even though the artist may have written it, that doesn't that is not necessarily a Christian. That's a, another topic for another day, which I'm not going to get into today uh, because I'm still wrestling with that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I look forward to seeing what you have to say. Um, but again, you know, be careful who you follow. A lot of these, unfortunately, a lot of these so-called Christian music stars are only looking for the the uh, the world to say they're doing a good job, not the Lord. Anyway, until next time, God bless. Have a great one.